Hi, and welcome to Kitchen Corner on Today with Paul. Today, I want to show you how to cook shrimp for shrimp cocktail, seeing it as it is the holiday season. This is something that I've always seen the family get together throughout this uh, particular time of the year. And, and you don't have to buy that pre-cooked stuff off the shelf. Uh, you can go ahead and make it yourself, maybe even make it the most tender shrimp you've had. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do cocktail sauce today, uh, but let's go ahead and make some tasty shrimp anyways. Now back here you see this boiling pot of water, that's going to be your first step. I don't want to waste no time, I don't want to waste your time on simple silly things that you already know how to do. So there we go, boiling pot of water, not a big deal. Please excuse me. But the next step is, you see all my beautiful items here on the table. Well, we got us a lemon here. And this will be the easy part. We're gonna go ahead and wash this off back here to sink. Just that simple. Go ahead and slice it right in half. Oh boy, your first step to making homemade shrimp. That was very difficult, wasn't it? All right, here we go. Oh, you're gonna wait for it, wait for it. Here's the next part. It's gonna be just as difficult. Right in the pot. Oh my goodness. Okay, well this, this ain't so bad after all, is it? Uh, really not so bad. So here's our next step. Our next step is we're gonna take the coffee filter. Well, we're not uh, making any coffee. Well, at least not for the shrimp anyways. Uh, maybe you are drinking some coffee right now. That's great. We're not using that for no coffee ground. So here we go. We're gonna use it for this pickling spice I got right here. And you're gonna pick this up because it's gonna, believe it or not, uh, if you didn't know before, now you do. Uh, you're gonna have the lemon and the pickling spice is gonna infuse the water. Yes, infuse. That's what we're talking about here. Uh, we're starting to learn a little bit more on today with Paul Angley. So go ahead and toss in a fair amount. Oh boy, we used about three quarter bottle there. And you're gonna leave it so that you can just kind of leave it in a nice little to-do like this. But just so you see what's in there. Yeah, without dumping anything. There you go. Uh, that's all you get. And then you're going to need some butcher string. Uh, string. Uh, there you go. You can find that at your local uh, grocery store. Uh, you know, obviously you're not going to get a whole lot for cheap. But uh, this will work. You got it there. So we're going to open this up. Brand new butcher string. Not a big deal. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically just tie, uh, cut off enough that we can tie a knot around our coffee filter. Because what we're doing is we're just putting this pouch in the water and we're infusing that water like I said. Let's see here, we got a little bit of tape, just a little bit of resistance there. And oh, there it goes. Okay. There you go, a little bit of butcher string. We'll cut that off. Try to snip these snips there. Get rid of this trash over here. We don't want to cross contaminate plastic into uh, our food there. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and take this, maybe a little bit of a twist. Now be careful depending on your coffee filter because what's going to end up happening is these are very delicate, especially once they hit the water. And you can tend to uh, have them burst on you and spill the contents out, which, which which isn't the worst thing that can happen, believe it or not. It's easily fixable. It's just a little bit more work when you're getting the shrimp out because he wants a whole bunch of pickling spice and a whole bunch of crunchies all over the shrimp. I, I know I don't. So basically what we're talking about here is we're gonna let this infuse a little bit. And I tie it back and forth a little bit here. Uh, once and twice, and then I finally double knot it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Try to pick it up and show you. That's not gonna work so well for me uh, uh, while I'm tying it. So there you go. You got a nice little knot around there. It's all secure. And we're gonna take the old snippy snips here and snip things back up again. There you go. So uh, just like the last step, that was the most difficult part. And now here's for the next, oh my gosh, the most difficult part. Oh, oh, there you go. So now you've uh, got your water infusing with your lemon and your pickling spice. 
and um, you're going to want to let that do its thing, at least for a little while, and, and, and what you're going to end up doing is you're going to take a little bit of a wafty kind of thing. As you see here, I got me a spoon and a spoon rest already over here so I can give it a good stir, maybe dunk the, almost like tea, right? You know, that's really what tea's doing, it's infusing the water, boiling hot water. Uh, so that's what we got going there. And I said, be careful with that uh, pickling spice bag, but you want to dunk it a few times, like so you gotta do that. Okay, so all that set to the side here. Uh, you got your colander because, well, it's just easy. We're just gonna go ahead and dump the shrimp out once we're done. Um, just the easiest way at work. Uh, in the restaurant I'm at, and unfortunately, the big tilt skillet that I use, uh, this this thing is so much an option. Uh, it's definitely not the easiest option. Unfortunately, I have to <laughs> use almost like a, a wire mesh. Well, this would be uh, similar to the wire mesh net with a handle I got. Um, I actually scoop the shrimp out like I'm a fisherman, so I, you know, I get to play like I'm. A, uh, out there fishing the maybe uh, wildest catch. I don't know, but, but you know, you're gonna need this. It's gonna make it nice and easy. And, and the big thing is, unfortunately for that situation at the restaurant I'm at, you're trying to play catch up. As soon as you think these puppies are done back here, you wanna get them out as fast as possible. So that's the key to this at home. We can get them out all at the same time practically and they're gonna be as tender as you want them. Uh, the place I'm at, unfortunately, I just don't have the best situation to make that happen. So we got this right here. Go ahead and place that in your sink because uh, why not go ahead and mise and plaza it, right? That's what a lot of us cooks, uh, professional cooks say. We say mise and plaza, we get everything together. You see on the Today with Paul table here in the kitchen corner, uh, I have all these things on the table uh, beforehand. It makes things easy step by step. We're just going to be able to move on to the next thing. Boom, 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 boom. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the sink for now. Right there. And, and, and so when these shrimp come out, okay, they're going to come out of the bath, if you will. That's kind of cute, right? We're going to say we're going to give our shrimp a bath. Uh, it don't take very long once they're in there, but uh, as I say we're going to pull them out. <clears throat> we want them as tender as possible, uh, and we want to uh, have them all out at the same time if we can. What happens after that? Uh, if you're draining pasta, usually what you're doing is you're going to run some hot water over it. And not this time. Uh, let's use a baking analogy. If you're baking cookies, what happens when the cookies get pulled out? Well, if you don't know enough about that, when you stop baking something, guess what? It's still cooking. So that's why maybe they look perfect in the oven, but you didn't give them enough uh, uh, room to breathe, if you will, by pulling them out just a little bit earlier after the fact. So what we want to do with our shrimp once they're out, as soon as we pull them out of here, we dump them in the sink over here, into this colander, now it's time that we give them a, uh, another bath. And so that stops it right in this tracks where we want it. So we're gonna have a nice ice bath here. It's gonna keep it right where we want it to begin with. Or as close to it, mind you, because uh, nothing's perfect. Timing is everything. Uh, you can't always be Johnny on the spot, if you will, uh, as they say back in the States. So, we got that over there. I can start to see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, see, I can definitely smell that. Now, when we finally get smell of vision installed on today with Paul, uh, you're, you're going to be able to uh, figure this out real quick. <laughs> you trust me on that. But uh, today, I'm here to tell you. Oh, yeah, I definitely smell that pickling spice quite well. And then also, we're going to be as safe as we can with this. Let's look at this lemon real quick. Yeah, look at that. See, it's uh, it's a cooked lemon. I don't know how many of you have cooked a lemon before, but you see how the juices have kind of come out quite a bit. 
And uh, where are they gonna go? go? They're gonna go right in that water, just like we like. Now, we're gonna see what we can do here with the shrimp. Now, we got us some uh, pre-cooked, no, not pre-cooked, what am I talking about? We're cooking the day. How about that? Cooking the day on Kitchen Corner on Today with Paul. Uh, we got uncooked shrimp. We've got peeled and deveined uh, tail on. Okay. Um, there was two choices at the store. Uh, these shrimps are a bit smaller than the other option that I would have preferred, uh, but the other one still had the whole entire outside of the shrimp on there. The whole skin. I don't want to de skin the shrimp, so uh, we're going with this. So, I mean, this is just some typical uh, grocery store action here. Nothing too fancy. Uh, $8 a bag for what? What does it say? 51 to 60 right there. Uh, Arctic, Arctic Shores, it says uh, on the back here. I'm on the front right there. Arctic Shores. And they give you a window in the back so you can kind of see what you're looking at there. There you go. Yeah, just about typical. That's about what you're going to see in a typical cocktail shrimp uh, ring that you buy at the store and thaw out and say, hey, guess what I brought to the get together? Well, you didn't make it, but that's fine because I've uh, been there, done that, and uh, it's lovely. <laughs> this ain't much work, but it's just one more step, ain't it? So uh, I'd say we're about ready, or at least I'm ready. Let's go ahead and put this in there. I don't know. We might get two bags in. I'm not so sure. Yeah, there we go. Easy rip seam there. Give you a nice little shot inside our shrimp bag. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all them lovelies, them uncooked lovelies. About to be cooked here in about a minute. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna get that other bag in, but better act fast because we want them done all at the same time. Now please excuse me, but they're a bit frozen still. Uh, we're not 100% uh, all in the same spot here. They've been in the fridge overnight. And in my experience, that's what's going to happen because at the store, they've been sold frozen. I've noticed that a lot lately. I, I wondered to myself if I'd be able to buy some uh, thawed out shrimp. Uh, let's give this a little stir here. Uh, it'll come up to the boil pretty quick, but basically what we're looking at is we're going to want to get a nice red tail and uh, that shrimp itself is going to become less translucent and more so of a uh, that meaty white uh, color that you see when, whenever you buy that pre-made ring. You see a lot of that uh, shrimp juice in here. And you don't necessarily have to bring this back up to a, a boil to, to have it actually work and get done. Uh, the main thing here is that the shrimp just gets done. I mean, that water was well and hot to begin with. And fish, if you, any of you out there cook much with fish, you already know it is too easy to mess up fish and it doesn't like to be cooked very long. It's not like our land animals that uh, I guess, you know, they're very lean. You know, they're always swimming out there in the lakes and rivers and oceans. So there's really no need to uh, go and slow cook for hours at a time or something like you might do a pork roast or something like that if you're really smoking something on the grill. So here you, know, you got to keep a close eye on this. You know, there we go. We got us just a little bit of splash. That's all right. There ain't nobody over there. It's all good. Now, I'm starting to like how those look. In fact, I'm going to do a scientific test here real quick. Yep. Bite the fattest part of the shrimp and I think we're done already. I can't believe it. That is amazing how fast that works. Now, of course, these shrimp in particular are a little bit smaller than one I cooked uh, at work the other day. But yeah, we're done. Pack your bags. <laughs> we're ready to go home as it were. <laughs> oh, yeah. And of course, Gump, you know, great man as it were. Great fic uh, fictional character, if you will. But, uh, you know, shrimping, 
Uh, at least on this end of things, it ain't so tough at all. So here we go. Let's go ahead and dump them shrimp right into our bowl over here. And get that taken care of. Oh yeah, I can smell that. Oh, we dropped one. Ah, I think there might be a lucky buster around here might get that one. Wait, it's not one not. Oh, yep, there's our clove bag. See that right there. We want to get rid of that right away. Woohoo! Hot stuff. Safety first, safety first, safety first, sanitation first. And that's what we're looking at here. Now look at all the beautiful shrimp. I'm gonna start tossing these in some ice before. <laughs> like I said, we gotta keep it moving. We're working. Get them up. on some nice, some cold water here. One thing I did neglect in this batch. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. Pull them puppies down. Mmm, nice, nice. Now you can feel the bowl cool down pretty quickly there. We're right out the mat. Here we go. We got our first test subject after the second bath. Mmm. Real good. Real good. Okay, so. Unfortunately, I dropped a couple. I didn't have a big enough bowl. I thought, oh, that one's going to be beautiful for display purposes. Well, it turns out we didn't display that too much at all. And that's fine. Everything turned out well. Everything's good. Everybody's safe. And, uh, you know, uh, I talked about the fact that I'm not making shrimp sauce on this uh, cocktail sauce, if you will. Uh, we'll grab you some ketchup. Grab you some Worcestershire -sh 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 sauce, if you will. We were joking about that work the other day. How many people know how to pronounce uh, Worcestershire sauce? There we go. I made an attempt anyway. Uh, and grab, uh, well, you know, I, I don't usually use the, the lemon juice so much, but some people put a little lemon juice in there. And you must definitely, absolutely have to have horseradish. That's what makes the sauce. So go ahead and mix that to your taste. Uh, if you feel like you just want to buy some, go for it. Maybe you have a favorite brand and you don't think you can improve on it. But anyways, I sure hope you all have a great evening. I hope you have a wonderful holidays. And thank you for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.